The day I graduated college in 2005, I decided to start a rental company. It took a few years until it became successful enough to be my full-time job, but now it's all I do. My hope is to help you by sharing my knowledge. I've been talking to a few patrons and some subscribers to YouTube who have a problem. It seems to be similar amongst a lot of people. A problem of storage. You want to get started in this business, but you don't have a garage to work out of. Um, or your parents don't have a garage. And the it's daunting to check, check out prices for warehouse space. It can be anywhere from like 3 to $5 per square foot. For warehouse space and very expensive especially when you're first starting out so I have a real-world example of a guy who solved this problem he has a garage but it was only like big enough for like a motorcycle and a little extra room so not big enough to store all his stuff he had a pickup truck so he just ended up buying a trailer and he just kept everything on it he started out with a 20 by 20 20 by 30 20 by 40 some tables and some chairs Oh, by the way, if you see me going through all these like loops, I'm on a former Air Force base. It's called Griffiths Base. If it was still a Griffiths, if it was still an Air Force base, uh, it'd be crazy. I'd be doing so many parties. I'd probably be double the size. But it closed down, and now it's just like a business park. I still do tents here, but imagine if all the military families were still living around here, having parties every weekend. That'd be great. But anyways, so this guy had everything in his trailer so his trailer doubled as his storage and his delivery and yes he had a pickup truck so that was already good but if you have an SUV you can just hook a hitch up to that you gotta have the right vehicle to tow it around and uh, that it worked for him he actually ended up getting into weddings so he bought a second larger trailer to have his 40 by 80 his tables his chairs his white padded chairs sidewalls lights everything he needed to set up that 40 by 80 wedding he had in that trailer so Thursday Fridays he would take around his little trailer and then Wednesdays he would set up the big tent with his big trailer there's one major advantage of having every, everything in your trailer if you're on a job site and you say hey do you need 10 more tables or chairs or whatever and they say yeah you have them right with you you don't have to go back to the warehouse and get them you just have them quick easy upsell if they didn't get sidewalls and now you know it's gonna rain or be windy you have the sidewalls to upsell or the lights or any anything that you rent out you just have with you so it's an easy easy upsell and you can do it like half off or whatever you're already there you don't have to go back it's amazing so uh, if you have a, if you live in an apartment you're usually allocated two parking spots one for your vehicle and if they let you one for your trailer um, if they don't let you park your trailer there there are storage centers that usually allow you to rent out a space at about 50 bucks a month you can rent out a space and then you just go pick up your trailer from there so that's just an idea I have a few other ideas for storage but this was the first one um, I do know that a trailer is not just cheap you can't just go buy one willy-nilly new ones are pretty expensive uh, but there are ones on Craigslist and uh, you know Facebook marketplace and used ones all over the place when I bought a trailer I needed one because I went rent trucks in the winter I mean I'm sorry I rent trucks in the summer but in the winter I didn't have anything so I thought it was unpro unprofessional showing up with tables that were getting snowed on or whatever in the back of my pickup truck so I ended up picking up a trailer off of Craigslist knew the trailer I think was six seven thousand dollars I ended up getting it for twenty five hundred dollars I just sold it recently for two thousand because I bought a box truck don't need a trailer anymore for winter deliveries so there is that benefit if you don't need it anymore you get out of the business or you upgrade you can just sell it if, you, if you're paying rent at a warehouse you don't get any of that money back but your trailer just sell it and you got some of your capital back so like I said that's just my idea don't get frustrated that you want to get in this business and you just can't figure out storage you just got to get creative and if you got a little bit of money to spend buy a trailer uh, and it'll just be for storage and delivery it'll be great but don't get frustrated just just dive into it and then figure out storage later there are lots of creative ways to figure out storage and my next video I'm gonna cover a few more this one was just literally about the trailer idea thanks for watching